Good afternoon, class. Thank you. You can sit down. All right. Then in our previous lesson, you were asked to do exercise one, questions A to H. We'll be looking at the answers today, and then you will continue with the exercise and do the rest. You will probably have to do it for homework as well for our next lesson. Okay, letter A. We'll start with the answer to letter A. The sum of two numbers is 8 and their difference is 12. Find the numbers. Patrick. What are the two numbers? X equals 10 and Y equals minus 2. The numbers are 10 and minus negative 2. Okay, good. Livingston, part B. X equals 1, Y is equal to minus 2. Again? X equals? 1, Y equals minus 2. Okay, the numbers are 1 and negative 2, correct? Yes, all right, next one. C, Lester. Length equals 18 centimeter. Width equals 16 centimeter. 18 and 16? Okay. Letter D. In an exam, a student's mark, maths mark exceeded her English mark by 21. If the total marks gained in the two exam was 137, find her maths, <coughs> sorry, find her marks in each subject. Kila, your turn to answer. Um, in English, she got 58. In maths, she got 79. In English, she got 58, and in maths, she got 79. Correct? <coughs> okay, letter E. <coughs> mm, the numbers are 5 and 2. 5 and 2? Okay. The numbers are 5 and 2. Those people who are going to answer letter F and letter G, can they come and do it on the board? Just write it, write the answer on the board. Tamaku, you are going to do letter F. Velma, letter G. <coughs> and letter H, Miriam. You don't need to explain, just do the working out on the board and we'll see if it's correct.
Excellent. One maths book costs 12 kina and one English book costs 10 kina. So well done, Taumaku. Okay, letter G should read. A fraction A over B is such that twice the numerator is one more than the denominator, and four times the numerator is one less than three times the denominator. Okay, I'm going to do that uh, question. You are told that the numerator is A, and the denominator is B. So we'll all do this together. Now, it says twice the numerator, we need an equation, twice the numerator is one more than the denominator. Twice the numerator will be 2A. Okay, and let's say, let's say B and 2A. It says twice the numerator is one more than the denominator. So I need to write an equation containing B and A. Where will one go? Do I add one to here? Which one is bigger, B or 2A? It's bigger by one. So I need to remove one from it so that it will be equal to B. So I subtract one, make it equal to B. So B is equal to 2A minus one. Now the next part says, four times the numerator is one less than three times the denominator. Four times the numerator, which will be 4A. Three times the denominator is 3B. It says four times the numerator is one less than three times the denominator. Give me an equation, somebody. Where do I add one or where do I subtract one? Anyone? Solomon? Kyle, the mic. The mic. 3B equals? B equals 4A minus 1. 3B equals 4A minus 1. You all agree? 4 times the numerator is 1 less than? three times the denominator. It's one less than, it says, four times, okay, without the one. Four times this is one less than three times. So should I subtract or should I add? Yeah. Add, okay. I can subtract from 3B, but I have to add because 4A is already one less than 3B. Okay, if B is equal to 2A minus 1 and 3B equals 4A plus 1, all I will do is substitute equation 1, 2, equation 2. So 3 times since B is 2A minus 1, so 3 times 2A minus 1 equals 4A plus 1. I get 6A minus 3 equals 4A plus 1. 2A equals 4 and A is equal to 2. If A equals 2, then B equals 3, sorry, 2 times A minus 1, which is 3. The fraction is 2 on 3. Did I explain it clearly? Yes. Okay. Letter H, Miriam will come and do it for us on the board.
A is X. Well done, Miriam. The fraction is 5 on 8. That one should be x. Any questions so far? No? OK, now I am going to put you to work in, two, in twos. Uh, we have. A lot more questions to do this question. 2A, 2B, C, D. OK, question 2A, B, C, D. And then you are going to do the other word problems as well. Which is um, question 2, to what number? 11. OK, so number 1A, Boromio and uh, Kiapin. Yours is A. B, <coughs> Geno and uh, Margaret. C, Esther and Rita. D, Daniel and Siegfried. All right, number 2 on the worksheet that you've got is uh, Natasha and Jake, three, Garonamo and Megan. On your worksheet, can you tell which one I'm talking about? OK, number three. Number four, Raylene and Agnes. Number five, Ponrele and Gabriel. Number six, Peter and Andrew. Seven, uh, Vui and George. Eight, Velma and Solomon. Nine, Hekoi and Chutaili. Ten, Miriam and Dan. Have we run out of questions? OK. Patrick and Livingston are also going to do number 10. Lesta and Kila are going to do nine. And Kyle and Taumaku will do number 11. Okay, quickly, I want you to work in 15 minutes. You're doing only one question each. Let's see if you've got the answers.
Okay, we look at the answers. Uh, letter A, Boromio and Kiapin. Pass the mic. What is x and what is y? x equals 2, y equals 1. x equals 2 and y equals 1. x equals 2 and y equals 1. Correct. B. X equals 3 and Y equals 2. X equals 3 and Y equals 2. And the others listening, please. C. <coughs> X equals 6 and Y equals negative 3. X equals 6. Y equals. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, X equals 3 and Y equals. Sorry, x equals 2 and y equals 1. 1 and 2. OK, that's correct. x Let's equals uh, 5 and y equals 10. x equals 5 and y equals 10, Sir. did you say? Yes. x equals 10 and y equals 5. X equals 10 and Y equals 5. Okay. Number 2. The other questions? Quick before we run out of time, who's next? Natasha. X equals 11 and Y equals 3. X equals 11. And Y equals 3. All the numbers are 11 and 3. There is no X there. So 11 and 3. Number 3. The numbers are 13 and 6. 13 and 6. Next one, number 4. The numbers are 11 and 9. Okay, note, for number 2, you can use uh, simultaneous equations. Number 3, you can also use simultaneous equations. It will have to be quadratic equation only. Number 5. The positive integer which we substituted as x is 6. Okay, the number is 6, and you can only use quadratic equations to solve. Number 6. The, the length of the hole is 14 meters, and its width is 10 meters. Okay, 40 meters for the? Oh, sorry, 14. And the width? 10. 10 meters for the width. Can you use simultaneous equation for this question? Yes. yes. <laughs> x times y equals 50 and x, uh, 2x plus 2y <coughs> equals 30. Okay, number 8, next one. George? The dimensions are 5 and Sorry, 10. Sorry, wait, wait. Seven. Number 7. <laughs> the dimensions are 5 and 10. 5 and 10. 10 is the length and 5 is the? Width. Width. Okay, number 8. <coughs> um, the shorter side is 3 centimeters long. This 
Did you actually do that using simultaneous equations? Yes. Or you used quadratic? Okay, number nine. The shortest side is nine centimeters. Nine centimeters. Shorter side. All right, ten. Patrick. The length is thirty, and the breadth uh, the breadth is nine. <laughs> <laughs> Length is 13 and the width is? Nine. Nine. Okay, number 11. Uh, Honorable Kailan Taumaku. <laughs> the average speed is 30 kilometers per hour. Average speed is? 30 kilometers per hour. 30 kilometers per hour. <coughs> okay, because you have a copy of the questions, what I would suggest is you try and use uh, simultaneous equations for the ones you haven't done. It's good practice. All right, the key word to the pilot teacher is pronumeral. Good afternoon, all the smart students. Good afternoon. Thank you.